So as teachers, typically we talk about how hard it is to get everything done that's demanded of us during the school day, but there's also demands placed on us when we come home too. Because when we get home, we have all of the human things, the mom things, the wife things, or whatever other role you have in your life. There's more stuff to be done, and sometimes we have to do teacher stuff on top of that, so it can feel like a lot. And I remember when I was struggling to the point where I was almost burnt out and I was working constantly, even after I came home, it felt like it was impossible to do things like clean my tiny apartment. And I remember being in that apartment, dreaming about having a house with space for all the things that I had that I couldn't really fit in my apartment. And then I get to the house and then I'm like, oh, I miss cleaning the apartment because that was so much easier because it was so much smaller. But here we are. I have a whole house to clean. I have two children to take care of and a husband dinner to make, all the kinds of things that we, you know, have to do as people. So I wanted to talk about my cleaning routine in case it's something that might help you. So first of all, for the longest time, I would put cleaning off until the weekend. And you know what happens on the weekend? I don't want to do it because I'm tired from the work week and doing everything at school. And then it always felt overwhelming because there's a lot to do. So the idea is that I wanted to break up what I was cleaning on the weekends and clean a little bit each day during the week. I also needed to create a routine that was flexible. So like my batch lesson planning, if I'm not able to clean something on the day that I routinely would, I have wiggle room because I'm not scheduling any cleaning to happen during the weekend. If I absolutely have to, I can, like I have the space there to do it. So for the longest time, my solution to cleaning was to just put it off until the weekend. And then the weekend would come and I would like rage clean my entire house, but that took a long time and it was exhausting. And then it was hard to either do weekendy things or have the motivation to do teachery things and vice versa. If I had something going on over the weekend, it was hard to also come home and then clean up after coming back from an activity or something. So instead, I took everything that I clean, broke it down into groups. I'll talk about this in a second. And I just made it so that my routine is that on certain days, I clean certain parts of the house. So I'm talking about batching. If we're going to make it very simple, batching is just grouping similar tasks together. So that means that I'm not getting out every kind of cleaning supply that I need every single day. It means that I'm focused in specific areas that are close to each other and it makes everything so much easier. The other thing that I've learned the hard way is that timing is everything. So what I tried doing initially when I tried a cleaning routine in the past was I did have certain days scheduled to do certain parts of the house, but I would just do it like whenever, like I wouldn't have a set time to do it or get it done. And I don't like having rigid schedules like that, like on a planner when it has hour by hour breakdown of the day and you have to put your tasks into those certain hours. That never works for me. I'm definitely like a block planning type of person. But just trying to have like this block set of time when I could clean, it wasn't working because my block is, you know, between getting home from work and going to bed. Somewhere in there I'd be cleaning. So what would actually happen is somewhere in there I would get home probably eat a snack, sit on the couch, maybe watch TV, or now I'd be getting involved in doing something with the children, and next thing you know, it's time to go to bed and I haven't gotten the cleaning done. So what I have to do is come home and get right to cleaning. Now there are exceptions, like today, I was able to get home before my husband comes home with the kids and I'm filming because if I don't do it now, it's not gonna happen because, you know, life with children, they're loud, they need me, it's impossible to film in their home. So this is one of the only times that I'm able to film. But after filming a video or two, I will get to the cleaning that I have to do. So back to batching. What I did was I thought about all of the different types of cleaning that I do, the different rooms of my house that have to be cleaned, and I decided that that was how I was going to batch. So I'm going to run down what my schedule looks like and then explain how it's batched. So on Tuesdays, I clean the bathroom. So we have a master bathroom and a second bathroom upstairs and then a half bathroom downstairs. So on Tuesdays, I clean those three. So I 
Windex the mirrors, I clean the toilets, I wipe down the counters, vacuum. I don't mop every single week. That's something else I wanted to talk about. But in cleaning just the bathrooms on Tuesdays, that means that I'm getting out the bleach, the Windex, the cleaning cloth for that. I use paper towels for the toilet and this toilet wand thing. So I'm getting all that stuff out, cleaning the bathrooms, and then moving on. I do take the batching a step further, so I will go into the bathrooms and spray down the toilets, clean those, then I will take everything off the countertop, Windex the mirrors, wipe down the counters, put everything back, and then sweep or vacuum, whatever it is that I choose to do that day. Usually it's the vacuum that's been my favorite lately. But I'm going through and when I Windex the mirrors, I'm Windexing the mirror in my bathroom, in the other bathroom, and then the downstairs bathroom. So I'm doing like one thing at a time and that way I just feel like I get it done faster because I'm not having to switch between products. But there's of course absolutely nothing wrong with cleaning one bathroom till it's done, then going on to the next bathroom and then the next bathroom. I just like the satisfaction of being able to put the Windex away and then move on to the next thing. On Wednesdays, I'll clean the bedrooms. So it's my bedroom and then two bedrooms for each kid. We have a guest bedroom also, but I don't really worry about that until we have guests coming over. My husband uses it as an office space, so if he wants to clean in between, he can go ahead and clean it. On Wednesdays, I clean the bedrooms, which mainly consists of picking up anything that's out of place, putting away laundry if it's out, and then vacuuming and dusting. I like to dust first, then vacuum. But that's what I do on Wednesdays, so I'm working on all the bedrooms, they're all upstairs. I'll go through, pick things up, then I'll dust every room, and then I'll vacuum every room. And that way I'm only hauling the vacuum cleaner upstairs once. And then bringing it back down when I'm done. Thursdays I clean the areas in the downstairs, so this is the dusting, vacuuming, picking up anything that's out of order. And then Fridays is when I'll clean the kitchen, so I like to take everything off the counters, put it onto the table, wipe down the countertop, sweep, vacuum, whatever it is that I'm choosing. I take care of the kitchen table, clean the sink, do all those things, but I save that for Friday. So it can sound like a lot when I list it out that way, but the reality is I'm not doing every single thing every single week. I am vacuuming every single week, but I'm not dusting every week. Usually it's like every other week it needs to be dusted. It just depends on where I am and what needs to be done versus what could wait a week. And it really just depends on the task in the room. So what's really important for me is that this schedule is flexible. So I said I like to do this Tuesday through Friday. If something comes up on the week and I need to push something off to Saturday, I can. Lately I've been coming home Friday exhausted or I've had to go grocery shopping Friday night and so the kitchen will wait till Saturday morning, which is fine because it's only one part of the house. But also the opposite could be true. So my husband is a music teacher and sometimes he has concerts that he has to go to school for. And when that happens, I'm not worried about cleaning. I'm worried about just taking care of the kids. So in preparation of that, if he has a concert on a Wednesday night, I'll do the cleaning for the bathrooms Tuesday and then also the bedrooms on Tuesday. So that way it's done and out of the way and I don't have to worry about trying to clean the bedrooms while also trying to take care of the kids. So in general, I'm not doing like a deep cleaning of any of these spaces at this time. I'm just doing like a maintenance clean, like a simple tidy. And then if I feel like it and I want to on the weekend, I could go and do a deeper clean. So if I wanted to, I don't know, like I don't clean the shower every single week because we use a squeegee to keep it dry and everything. But if I notice it's starting to get dirty, I'll go ahead and clean that. Like, you know those areas of the house that you don't clean every single week, like the baseboards or something like that? I'll save that for the weekend. Um, I have like a project list on my dry erase calendar that we use just to keep track of everything that we're doing as a family. And on the side, I have a list of different things that I want to clean when I get a moment on the weekends. So I knew that I wanted to talk about this when I saw teachers online saying how they were really frustrated and struggling with not just the teaching stuff, but also keeping on top of the home stuff. So I knew I wanted to make a video like this. I hope it was helpful. I know what works for me doesn't necessarily work for everyone else, but I really hope that there's something you can take away from this video, like just breaking down a big task and sparsing it out over different days or just creating a routine that makes sense and that works. 
So that's everything for this video. If you have any questions, comments, you can leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.